Right folks, welcome to this exciting video. In this episode, we're here at RAF Isle of Isla, which was built as the World War II airfield here to defend Isla by the RAF in World War II. And look already, we can see remains of history here, which is pretty cool. This must have been some sort of building or barracks or something related to the airfield. And yeah, I'm just wanting to document this history because it's lost forever and I've never seen anyone documenting this history on Isla. This is exclusive Isla World War II content right here on the channel. And look at this. This has got like a tarry kind of coating on it. I'm not sure if there'd been fuel tanks or something like that maybe on this plinth. But yeah, I think there had been no airport here on Isla until World War II. And then I think the military had built it. And then ever since then, like after the war, it's just been continued and maintained as the Isla Airport. Now look, there's a couple of little stairs lead down here. So this has maybe been like a little back section here, whatever this building was doing. But look, I just noticed there was something over here in the long ferns, which I'm gonna go and have a look at. This is cool, folks. I love looking at World War II history, especially like, undocumented history like this wow this must have been like a water tank for the airfield check this out folks wow probably if you fell in there okay, that would be pretty pretty deep i would say yeah so this is more history folks there's like loads of nuggets of history and i'm sure i'm going to follow this cement piece around and there's some air raid shelters and stuff over here so let's get into it, but yeah, this is one of the first cool things. It's definitely like a big water tank. And look, there's the pipe, must have been to feed it, maybe from a spring up some of these moors or something like that. So some of the World War II stuff is like my favorite time frame to explore. And it's like such an interesting time as well. Just imagine them reclaiming this wild bog land for their airfield. And it looks like there's been a serious amount of buildings up here to do with the airfield. Because look at this here, there's another... This must be like an outer track, which led right around the airfield. Yeah, so let's follow this up. It's in quite good condition. This must have been like a side road, which was related to the airfield. I'm going to go up here, because there's some cool stuff. But first, we must go in here and have a look, folks. Because I'm wanting to document everything I can when I'm here. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity here to see if there's any like World War II nuggets left here. And, like this has been some sort of building. There would have been all sorts of buildings probably and they maybe flattened it and then put their more modern buildings at the far side of the airfield. But there is some like massive massive bits of concrete and cement which is still left here. And actually, I think this is where there's been a hangar over here. Oh, look, there's been a footpath which comes down here. This is all cement. And this here has been the old toilet block for the airfield. Check it out. You can still see where the toilets have been. Wow. That is a real bit of history right there. So you can imagine all the soldiers landing their Spitfires and their Hurricanes and then coming in here to relieve themselves. Maybe after a tough flight. It's a shame that all this has just been levelled and flattened, but that's what happened to a lot of these airfields. Especially the likes of this scene where they've modernised it and like reused what they could. Okay, this has been a proper little toilet block at one time. Look at that, what's they say on it? DIC. It's cool to see the different bricks and like you can see often where they got their supplies before they built stuff like this. Look, I think there's more stuff over here in the long grass. So it's interesting to see where there's a base on the ground like that. There's obviously been more construction and I can see bits of stone buildings. There would have been probably like radar, kind of radio communications buildings and stuff like that. And look at that, new mains is on the bricks. 
and it looks like this building here has just been bulldozed. That is quite interesting. There's actually something else over there as well. We'll go and take a look at it. I'm making my way along to what looks like an air raid shelter or something like that. Judging by the other aerodromes and stuff that I've explored on the east of Scotland, it's cool to compare it and then see what it's like way out here on these islands. Like literally we're just out, it's like the middle of a moor here on Isla. And it looks to me like the original World War II airfield was a lot bigger than the standard modern airfield. But yeah, this bit here, I don't know if it's been for planes taxiing or something, there's like a loop of cement leading around here. And yeah, look, it looks like there's more stuff over here. This is absolutely incredible. I'm in my element when I explore things like this. It's so, so interesting. Look, these sheep here are just chilling. They don't even realise that they're grazing an ancient World War II historical site. Wow, I've just noticed some things sticking out of the ground. That's why I've walked further in here. Look at this. This would maybe imply to me that there's been a mast here in the middle. So I'm thinking this circuit of road here is leading around the mast. Because definitely they would have had communications for their airfield connected to the mainland or wherever. And yeah, there's just often small, tiny bits of it left. And you can piece it all together and you can see what was where. Look at this bit sticking out. Oh, here we go, folks. Look at this. MCA. That's interesting, MCA. I wonder what that stands for. There's other bits of buildings and stuff here. But I've literally just noticed there's like a little air raid shelter or something over here. So let's go and have a look. There's bits of cement here as well. There's been a lot here. There's been a lot which has been bulldozed at the end of the war. Anyway, we'll head over here to what looks like a bunker of some sort in the long grass. I do apologise for any wind and stuff. Because like, there's just nothing out here to break the wind. So look here folks, we've got another interesting base here. And it looks like it's had cubicles in it. Similar to the toilet block. But I don't think this has been the toilet block. It's like something's been mounted on these bits here. And then... Yeah, there's been definitely stuff mounted. Look at this. Here's one of the mountain brackets. If anyone knows what that was for, get in the comments. Looks like it's been nailed to wood at one time. Wow. A building like this, you see the stones may have been taken and used for something, or else they might have been mostly wood. So it's all rotted away. Look at this strange bit of here. I wonder if it's been some sort of generator shed or something where they've been creating power for the airfield. I better get a picture of this. Yeah, so this building's had the Harold exterior like that. And it looks like it's been a few different rooms. I'm thinking this will be like communications or something. It's so overgrown with these bushes. I don't think there's anything else in that particular bit there. But I'm going to walk my way over here because it looks like there's an even cooler bit here. Which is a potentially like... Yeah, I was, just, I was just having a wee look at those bushes to make sure I'm no missing any details. But yeah, let's head over here because this looks like a cool... Might have been even like a bomb storage area. Wow, look at this folks, there's a brown hare just running away. Yeah, so it looks like most of whatever this is has been like demolished at the end of the war. I'm not sure if it's been like bomb storage or an air raid shelter or something. I'm out of breath after running over that moor there for the last thing that we looked at. But look at this. This must have been the original entrance here. And then the wall must have led right around the outside of it. Quite often you see that style of 
built up area around like bomb storage. Yeah, so let's take a look inside here and see what remains of the World War II history. I think a lot of these places were built around 1941, 1942 maybe. See, look at this, this is weird. I wonder what this has actually been. See, there's been like something mounted in here, maybe like a big metal door or something. And then the latch is at that side. And then this whole bit here has been built up. And then in the middle, it's got like cement bits which seem to have like curved bars across it almost. It's like something's been mounted there off the bottom. It's so cool folks. I love like exploring World War II history and like this is the first time I think I've never seen somebody exploring this Isla airfield on YouTube before so it's cool to be the first to come out here and document it. And yeah, it's just interesting as anything, folks. World War II on Isla. So in the distance, folks, I've just spotted an ROC bunker at the edge of the fence. And I've never ever seen anyone record the ROC bunker here on Isla either. So I'm going to run over here and have a have a look and document this little bit of history. There's loads of little like concrete roads and stuff around there that must have been constructed at the time of the airfield for like access in the different areas. Some bits of it's just like bog land once again. Yeah, look, there's been. Tons and tons of World War II buildings right along here. Look, here's a massive area here, which might have been a hangar. Sometimes bits like this was actually a hangar. Look at this. This like path comes round the side here to here. And then, yeah, I can just imagine a hangar here. That's about it. I can't see any evidence of like generator bases or stuff like that. It's amazing through the way nature just takes over a place like this. That gives you an idea of the island weather here folks, look how corroded that wheel is. All the wheels are just corroded out. Yeah. That's been so interesting to check out. A little bit of Isla World War II history. interesting to see like what's been there it's a shame it's been flattened but at least we can come and document like what is still here this is so interesting folks i'm just thinking this is maybe an roc bunker over here and if it is you might have to tune into the next episode to see that because it's cool to keep off in these historical but like different ages and history on the separate videos so it's like World War II history over here and then we'll be over here looking at Cold War history which is so interesting because these ROC bunkers are like dotted like all over the country and there was about 1500 of them in the whole of the UK. So yeah. It's interesting folks. It's like an old abandoned farm building that probably predates like even the airfield and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's probably all the World War II history documented, so I should really keep this ROC bunk bunker for our next video, folks. It just makes sense to keep the different ages of history separate. Oh, I've just seen more World War II history, though, so Danny, don't turn it off just yet, folks. See, the actual live airfield is over here for the, the current run, the current airfield. So, we can't go too far. But we're just exploring respectfully, folks. Wow, I can't believe the landscape all around here. It's just like, it blows my mind every time. Look at this. There's more cement bits here, like there's been more buildings. Oh, look here. There's been something mounted on here. If anyone knows in the comments, once again, like what's been on there, get in. Share the history, folks. 
because we love learning. Like people can learn the local history as well just from watching these videos. Yeah, it looks weird because there's some square bits here. Like there's been stuff mounted. This has maybe been like another. I don't know if it's been a hangar. It's more like a circle. And then look, it's got these bits for like tying something down. And there's just more cement, like roads and stuff going. Yeah, I think I might have to go and look over at that as well. Yeah, folks, that was what I thought it was an ROC bunker. But if you want to see that, you'll have to watch the next video because it's coming very soon. I've already recorded the next video, but we're still here looking at World War II history here at RAF Isla. Actually, when I was in the museum, if you remember the museum episode for Isla, I actually recorded the original World War II map of this site. And the thing is, probably all around this airfield, there'll be little, maybe like air raid shelters and little bits of World War II history, like hidden in the long grass. But I'm just going to record everything at this top side, because I'm not sure, like, obviously we can't just walk straight across there. But I'm thinking there must have been some sort of like fuel tanks or something in the ground down here because I could see like pipes sticking out of the ground so I'm wanting to go and investigate it folks if there's some World War II history just right next to the path I definitely want to get it on video for sure and this is some exclusive content right here because like I say nobody has vlogged around here before Nobody's documented this World War II history, and it's a shame that it wasn't like videoed and photographed before it was knocked down. Because once it's down, folks, it's gone forever, as we know. Often, videos and stuff on YouTube can be like one of the only things that keeps the history alive of these old sites, and especially way out here in the Scottish Islands. Look at this, we're joined by three sheep here. But I just noticed there's been another building here at one time. Yeah, it's interesting. This got, they've all got these like loops here, which is like metal loops. It's like something which has been here has been tied down. Maybe because of the mad like winds that come off the sea here, they had to tie stuff down. Look at this. There's actually pipe under the ground here. See, this is what I was thinking. I was imagining. I don't know what this has been for, if there's been a pole or an aerial. Maybe every building was connected by like radios or something, but yeah, I was thinking over here, it looks like there's been some sort of fuel tanks under the ground and that might make sense. If there's bits of pipe and stuff under the ground as well. What is this? Look at this folks, is this related to that? Yeah, this is where that is, look. There's an electrical cable coming out of the ground there, connected to this box which I'm probably not going to touch because look there's like live wires and stuff sticking out of it ah folks so there's been maybe a pump or something on there for pumping fuel I can see it says they are made in England so that's probably been something that's been at like every RAF airfield but every time I visit one of these I always just love finding the little bits of buildings and stuff and try to figure out what they were and over here this looks like one of the most interesting things I was originally thinking that like this is like an older building which would have been here before like before the World War II airfield this would have been like a little farm or shed or something so maybe this other bits of cement and stuff I'm seeing here was from the same time frame this has maybe been just literally for sheep or something and then look at this there's been like an old boiler pot of some sort there with like that blanking thing on the end I don't know if there's been I don't even know what there's been to be honest with you folks look at this it's like a house with a cement base there I think this might predate the airfield now I'm seeing it yeah, I think this here though is, it's maybe been like an old sheep dip or something. From a distance it looked like this had been like fuel tank pipes or something sticking out of the ground. But now I'm seeing that this must have been here before the World War II time frame. 
Not unless anyone knows about this, but I think this has been a sheep dip for dipping sheep. Like we saw at the abandoned farm recently. This could literally be some abandoned farm history right here, instead of World War II history. But if you know different, get in the comments, folks. We're always open to learn new history on this channel. Sometimes when you're walking around with a camera, like videoing it, it's hard just to think what everything might be in that moment. But sometimes once I'm like editing it at home, I think, oh, of course, that's what it is. But with this, I just get the feeling it's been a wee farmhouse, a wee croft. And it's probably been even a ruin at the start of the war. When they took this ground over, it's probably already been ruined. And yeah, I'll keep walking around here. See if I can see any other World War II history. Looks like at one time there's been dikes and walls like all the way around here. Look at this folks, more of these cement bases for the buildings. It's a shame that there's not more like obvious interesting bits of history here, but it was still worth stopping for a look. And this could have been even like barracks or offices or anything to do with the airfield. There is bits and pieces lying at the side. But yeah, even these could have been like wooden buildings and then after the war, kind of, they would have just rotted away as time passed. But there seems to actually be a lot of them here. Here's another one here. Look at this, folks, I'll run over. Yeah, look at the size of this one. This has been a big one. Wow. What has it been, folks? And I'm guessing, oh look, there's another one up here. This is incredible. What have all these been? Look at this, folks. There's another one exactly the same right there. Who would even know what that is? It's been just a building of some sort. Unfortunately, nowadays, like I say, we can tell it's been a building, but we can't really tell what. This is so exciting, folks, exploring here. I have just actually recorded a plane landing, but that'll be a little short video coming in the future. Because I've got so many videos recorded now. Even from being here, that's like three videos. Including this one with the World War II history. See, there's little buildings just all over this grass here. And they've actually been dug down a little bit on the foundation. They all look similar as well, similar size. So I'm not actually sure what all they were, but here we are, folks, exploring it. I thought from the road it looked like there might have been more like interesting bits of history, bigger buildings maybe, or stuff we could actually have a look inside, but it appears just to be old like foundations and stuff for buildings. Apart from that interesting bit up there, which I think may have been like, could have been for bomb storage, like, I'm not sure, like, look at this. There's an old fitting, which must have been inside this building at one time. It's an old electrical junction box. Probably connected, like, inside the roof or something at one time. And then once the roof and stuff rotted away, it just dropped down. And then here it remains. As the more years that pass, stuff like that is just getting lost. Lost forever. To the elements, to the bog. Maybe one day somebody will be digging up peat and they'll find some World War II history. Look at this folks, this is a more interesting one. See there's been something mounted up on top of this plinth from these screws. And then, oh look there's been something here too. Is that like a, look there's a, some sort of wire there. Look how thick that is coming out of there. Massive bit of wire, that's probably been a generator here I think. And then maybe the, the cables would have come out and in here, probably for the runway lights. They would have lit the runway up when the planes was coming in to land. And it would have all been maybe powered by a place like that. But quite often on military buildings you see that where the, the generator was mounted up on a little plinth. And then look, maybe the control panel would have been here. Similar to the control panel that we saw on the other building over there. I'm just literally running about on this moor, like, recording all these separate little buildings. And some of these buildings might have even been storage areas. This is quite a big one. But, 
in World War II also, this airfield would have been a lot bigger than what it is now when it's like a public airfield. But probably if you ever get a plane to Ireland, you're flying into land. You can just take a look at this, the ground around here and from the air you'll probably be able to see it a lot better. But like, like I say, I didn't even know there was an airfield here at Isla. So I didn't uh, research it at all. It was more just like when we were driving past, I could see like the top of some of the bits of cement from a distance. And I just thought, I want to go and document it. And kindly, AKR Channel Historian has stopped the truck here. So it's cool. Look at this. What is this been, folks? This is a lid to a tank. Maybe a sewage tank. Look, there's like a breather or something. Oh, like you can see in. Can you see in, folks? There's like a bit of a pipe hang there. Alright, I'm just saying a wee smell there. Oi! Smells like water. It's no fuel. This must be where they either pump the sewage away. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So that's the reason they'll have these. It's cool to see like World War II history though, folks. Even if it's like this is a World War II septic tank. Here it is in the long grass. So I think under my feet here, there must be a few different tanks and stuff like that. Because look over here, there's something else, folks. I've literally just got like 5% battery here, so I just hope it doesn't turn off. But look at the shape of this. It looks like it's sunk. Yeah, look, there's been electrical parts here. Look at those old fuses. And then the old junction box thing. And then I think these roads, just because it's on like a bog, they've all sunk. I think this would have been level at one time. There's just more and more of these the whole way around. Just little like artifacts of history. And I keep seeing so many more. I'm just running over here once again, folks, to get the footage. Whoa! Running through a bog. It's pure hell. Spiky thistles and stuff. Look at this here. This has been a massive building here. I think I really must go though, because I think AKR and that is waiting over here beside the airfield for me. And I'm just running about documenting this history like a madman. A lot of this though is a wall which has been pushed down. Look at this folks. Over near that first septic tank thing I looked at, look. This must be to do with the airfield drainage system. There's pipes running both ways. Probably draining the water away from the, the airfield. Because this is literally just a bog we're on. A peat bog. A lot of these areas around here, they harvest the peat for the distilleries. I'm totally out of breath, if you can't tell, folks. After running through all that, document the history. Look at this, here's another strange looking building. See, I'm not sure, they're just everywhere. These little buildings are just everywhere over this whole moor. I think I've run, over, I've run across this whole moor enough and tried to video the best I can. But yeah, a lot of them just in that state, I'm afraid. Maybe it'll be interesting to look from Google Earth though down, see what, what I've missed. Maybe if I return here in future years, I'll come back for another look, but most of that stuff's just sinking into the bog and getting lost, so. If anyone knows what this stone here was for, get in the comments, folks. World War II history everywhere. This here has been a massive building too. There's just so many massive buildings all over the site, folks. If you come to Isla, stop here for a look. If you're into World War II history, it's definitely worth it. Right, folks, that's been cool. We've documented some World War II history here at RAF Isla. RAF Isle of Isla. And thanks a lot for joining us on this adventure. Tune in again very soon if you want to see the Cold War ROC bunker. And then maybe after that you'll get to see the aeroplane landing. But I'll end this one here. 
thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one very soon